Servico System. Instructions of use. Consultation day. Evaluate the available Messio distal space of the edentulous site with the cylindrical tabs of Servico Guide. The ideal tab is one that fits the site, being in light contact with the adjacent teeth. In this example, the tab with 11 mm diameter. Select the proper shape and size cervico healing abutment with the use of the anatomical tabs of the cervico guide. In this example, the tab with coding M1M. Day of surgery. Utilizing the ideal cylindrical tab, 11 mm diameter in this example, in order to mark your osteotomy, align the central printed line of the tab with the occlusal line of the adjacent teeth. Perform the first drilling through the soft tissue and into the bone. Following, proceed by raising a flap or in a flapless approach. Install into the osteotomy the seal pin of the cervico guide and then install on top of it the anatomical tab, selected as the most suitable for this site, M1M for this example. Proceed with the next size drill. Install into the osteotomy the next size pin and install again on top of it the anatomical tab of the guide. This process allows you to continuously evaluate the osteotomy position and angulation in relation to the cervical profile and any necessary adjustments can be identified and made. Follow the same steps until you finalize the osteotomy according to the implant manufacturer's recommendations. Place the implant and make sure that it is located at least 3.5 mm below the cervical margin of the future prosthesis and that the flat seat of the implant's prosthetic connection is facing the same direction to the one of the T-line imprinted on the top surface of the anatomical tab. This will ensure proper orientation of the cervico healing abutment in the mouth. Cervico healing abutment and impression post-fabrication. Rotate the top ring of the cervico mold till the desired shape and size well of the silicon, M1M for this example, is aligned to the VPI analog that is compatible to your implant system and which is installed in the base of the mold. Couple thread into the selected well a temporary abutment of your implant system. Fill the available open space with curable, flowable, composite resin material and light cure until it is properly cured and set. Uninstall the generated cervico healing abutment, which is ready to be used after proper polishing and disinfection. Couple thread into the same well of the mold, a stock impression post of your implant system, and follow the same step. Fabricate the duplicate impression post of the cervico healing abutment. Install the cervico healing abutment to the implant at time of implant placement or at uncovery. Allow proper healing time for osseo integration and soft tissue maturation. At time of impression stage, replace the cervico healing abutment with the duplicate impression post. Proceed with implant impression and transferring of all of the information to the lab for fabrication of a final prosthesis with proper design. This design, at its subgingival portion, should be the duplicate of the subgingival portion of the cervico healing abutment. 